How does work in memory impact on dyslexic students in your classrooms? Now, in this new blog, you've got the research paper, but more importantly, you've got this important MRI scan. Now, dyslexic students in our classrooms. This is a question I'm thinking about a lot more as I explore research on work in memory. And on my travels, when I'm working with teachers and giving them recommendations about work in memory for neurotypical people, so for example, an adult can process three to nine bits of information at once, and we forget after 15 seconds. Um, those examples, people often say to me, well, what would you give uh, as a recommendation for people with dyslexia or ADHD or dyspraxia, or for my neurodiverse students in my classroom? And that is a very good question. Now in this research, executive work in memory, you've got a scan here on the left for dyslexic students, and you've got non-dyslexic on the right-hand side. And these uh, MRI scans kind of show that dyslexic students and their learning in this graphic in particular, let me put it a little bit bigger, is significantly hindered. So you can see these uh, electrical pulses here in the brain, not just due to phonological issues which dyslexic students suffer from, but also due to work in memory deficits, something that we can all suffer from. But look at the differences. So this means that these issues impact on dyslexic students' ability to process and retain verbal information. This data inside this research would suggest lots of things that we need to consider as teachers, particularly for our dyslexic students um, who have, in this case, a much weaker performance in tasks that have been completed uh, when we're asking them to involve holding and manipulating um, phonemes in this case. So this is speech sounds uh, in their working memory. So you can see the differences, they're quite stark. I guess the message for us all is dyslexic students in particular struggle to juggle. There's a good phrase, struggle to juggle. Multiple pieces of information. And I guess what I've learned uh, where teachers can help our dyslexic students more in particular, especially with working memory deficits, there's lots of recommendations in the blog post. I've given you lots of reflection questions to consider for CPD, but as, as ever, model the process, go slower, give them visual aids to support what you're saying and help them to chunk information would be my top tips. Thanks for watching.